Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel everyone. Today's video takes us to the Indiana State House building where we will be looking at an unfortunate turn of events for First Amendment Auditor Wanda Mize. Wanda has been fighting for our rights for only a couple of months now, but he's already built up an impressive resume with two current arrests. Which way I turned the phone, uh, said that the, something's wrong with the screen orientation. But anyway, so hopefully this one works out. All right, so these are my charges from the post office. So, resisting law enforcement, class A misdemeanor, and disorderly conduct, count two. I covered this arrest previously and it's linked in the description below. When Wanda made an appearance for this clear deprivation of rights under the color of law, he, well, I'll let him tell you. So I went to court on that for my initial hearing. And uh, while I'm there, and all they do there is uh, discuss the attorney and uh, the charges basically. So no big deal, but the prosecutor says they have two more charges for me. And this stems from my state building video and my interaction with the state troopers beaming. Not only did he pick up two more citations, he was booked and arrested again. I saw this quote audit he was referring to when it first came out a month ago, but the ending was a little anticlimactic, so I moved on. But now with this fresh new information, I felt we should go back and take a look at what led to Wanda's new arrest. How you doing? I'm just taking a tour of the building. Why is that? I um, mean, it's a public area, right? You don't have cameras in here? Why not? I'm not really looking for anybody. I'm just a. Uh, I mean, I've been in other offices in this building and had my camera. They were perfectly fine with it. Okay, sir. That's the information that I gave you. I understand. Not all information is good information, though. I said not all information is good information. In a public area, of course you can have cameras in a public area, it's in the Constitution. Given that the invention of the photograph didn't happen until around 1826, I find it a little hard to believe our founders mentioned cameras anywhere in the Constitution. I'll keep looking, though. I'm just going right here. There's no sign that says no authorized entry or authorized personnel only. Who are these seats for, the public? Sir. Yeah. You're not allowed back there. Why not? I didn't see any signs that say authorized personnel only. Well, that's because it's not just for authorized personnel only. It looks like it can be used as a break area for employees, maybe a meeting spot for constituents to speak with their representatives, or maybe it's just decorative. Who knows? That doesn't mean that it's an open public forum that anyone at any time can just wander around in. I'm not messing with anybody's personal belongings. Yes, you are. You're in their offices. There's no office right here. It's a public hallway. You guys should relax. I mean, you gotta. Do you live here? Huh? You live here in Indiana. Uh, maybe. Why? I just wanted to know if you knew the rules in here. I know the law. I don't know about the rules. Well, well you should know the rules. Though. Well, the rules don't, I mean, the rules are under the law, right? 
Well, you're not supposed to go back here. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, I mean, you guys should have a, you know, like a thing going across or something. No, that says, uh, that. Yeah, well, I mean, if you want it to be private, you have to have it like that. I mean, that's how the law works. That's not how the law works at all. Just because some dude named Wanda with a camera thought it was a good idea to be an asshole doesn't mean they now need a rope strewn across to keep people out. Well, you, you can't do that. You can't go restricted there. Well, yeah, there's no restricted. It doesn't say it doesn't say restricted right there. This is an office. Yeah, open well, to the public. To, no, not the office. This office. See there. Let me explain something. See this out here? That's public. And this is public. You, now, when you cross. Then who sits in these way? chairs? Office staff. The staff, so they get up from here and go sit in staff that chair. Staff today, we're inside here. This so these chairs, office. these chairs ain't for the public. This guy really has an issue with these chairs. Like that's the secret to unlocking what is or what isn't a traditional public forum. He words salads for about 20 more minutes or until he makes his way into yet another office, leading to Wanda really catching some feelings. <clears throat> How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just doing a tour of the building. Okay. Can I ask you what you're, <coughs> you're looking for in particular? Or? No, I'm just looking at all the offices. And... Uh-huh. How you doing? Eat your heart out, Cronkite. This is how you journalism. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Uh, anything we can help you with? No, I'm just looking around. Okay. What for? Doing a story on the building. Okay. Um, I mean, at this point, uh, you see what you need to see in here? I mean, these are private offices. I mean, we, we do walk people in, but... Yeah, I understand. Are... I'm not going back there in the back. But you yeah. guys should put up a chain or sign or something that says restricted. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. For a public building, you guys sure do try to restrict a lot. Well, we do have private offices, so what, what? Okay. Well, that's the thing, there's no expectation of privacy in public, is there? Well, it truly depends on the situation. But there is an expectation of breathing through one's nose while recording, Wanda. So, can't have private offices in public buildings, so. Yeah, but they should be marked, right? It's private. Like an office. Private. I just had a discussion with one of the state troopers about that. Check. Check, anything else? Can I get your name? Uh, so, yeah. Can I get a Freedom of Information APRA request form? I don't have those. A blank piece of paper and a pen will work. Nope. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> nice. You deny my Indiana public record? No, but you can send an email. <coughs> no. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here in person. Okay. You know that's against the law to violate the APRA request, right? I mean, you can do it if you want. That's on you. But I will make sure you pay for it. Yeah, sure you will, Wanda. Now go get your own piece of paper, you bum. The citizens are going to start holding you guys accountable. Blank piece of paper and a pen. Would you like to send an email requesting no. this Freedom of I'm going to submit it in person. I'm already here. You don't submit it to me, though. Yeah. I'll submit it to anybody that works for the public. Especially in the in the office that I'm at. Name it. Name the office, Wanda. This is the office I'm doing the public records request on. Yeah, I didn't really think you knew which office you were in, Wanda. I'm doing it on the one where public employees fail to identify. Name it. Name that law, Wanda. If you would like to send an email, you can make a request. I'd like a piece of paper That's and a pen. Enough. Would you like me to pull you pull up how it works? I, I don't understand what you're here for, but at this point... I already told gonna, you what I was here for. We're going to ask you, no, you did not. I didn't tell, tell you that I'm doing a tour of the building? 
Yeah, that's fine. But okay. you know what? We'd like to ask you to leave at this point. Well, okay? you can ask. And I'd like to decline. I mean, was I being rude or something? I mean, I told you, sir. what's your problem? It's not how this works, so. It is how it works. You got a phone right there. Look up Indiana APRA law. I already told you I don't do public replies like this. It's not my job. If you work for the public, you do whatever the public wants you to do. And there it is. No, they don't, you powerless, mouth-breathing Neanderthal. I'm sorry your life has turned out so shitty, you have to try and order people around like you do have some sort of power. And no, before you say it, you don't pay this person's salary because you're broke and can't afford an attorney, so you run to daddy government for that. More on that later. Give me a blank piece of paper and a pen, I've already and then we'll see what happens. Sure. I don't want to do email. Well, then I we, don't want to do we pay you guys to work, so I'm here and I want a record request, so work. That's not Piece my of paper job. and a pen. That's not my job. What is your job? You're the receptionist, right? No, not a receptionist. Well, I mean, you're working in this office. I want to get information uh, on employees you're not, in this you're office. Asking, sir, you're not asking us for anything. I don't know what you're asking us for. You're just, I just said. You're just here. I ask for a request form, public information request form. And I told you we don't. We, do, we don't have that in this office. Well, you then I said a blank piece of paper. No, blank will. piece of paper that is and a, a pen. To be you know, it's a it's a law to violate the APRA request, right? And we're giving you the process yeah. for how you. You, know, it's, you don't give me the process. Request. I do it how I, the law allows me to do it, by email or in person. Go get your own piece of paper, Wanda. I'll sit here until you guys leave then. Well, honestly, that's not very shocking, as Wanda doesn't seem to work, so he has the ability to sit here all day. If you haven't noticed quite yet, my opinion on Wanda isn't very high. Unless you want to give me a blank piece of paper and a pen, I'd like to finish my tour of the building. But if you guys are going to hinder that by not fulfilling my request, then I'm going to have to bill you guys for my time of sitting in your office and waiting until you close. And of course he went soft sit. As a matter of fact, his record shows a plethora of incorrect plate citations, including ones that are fictitious. So he sat here for about 10 more minutes until a trooper finally showed up. Sir, just hold on. Because the furthest thing in the world I want to do, to be honest with you, is take you to jail. Uh -huh. I don't want to do that. Well, no, that'd be a bad idea on your part. Well, it, it's not going to be. Well, yeah, it would but be. It would be a civil rights violation well, and not sue you and take whatever money you got in your bank account. Yeah, that's fine, sir. That'd be a bad I'm idea for you. I'm going to tell you one last time, okay? So please, you could come. If the person says you must leave, you must no, leave. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just telling you. They can't you. kick Hold you out minute, unless sir. you break the law. Sir. Yeah, but you're adding all this. Not, I already know the law. Okay, since you I know, know the law. I'm going to reaffirm because no, you, if you Don't reaffirm with nonsense. Now, come on, the law. If you violate it. You're going to right. go to jail. Okay, then I'll have to sue you. I don't care. I mean, the only way that's you can get kicked life. out of an office is if you break or violate the law. I'm not breaking or violating the I, law. I just explained They are. It. This is the he second is. time. This guy right here is. He's denying my APRA request. Well, sir? Her, she's denying my APRA request. Okay. That's a violation. You're the state police. I, and I'm going to tell should you be, again. You should be giving them a ticket. $500. Five hundred dollars, sir. Sir, for denial of Just public so records. You know. Oh, Wanda, you're not suing anyone. Stop threatening them with it. All right, who's ready to watch Wanda's meltdown? Because Wanda, as it turns out, is the snowiest snowflake that ever snowflaked. So you're making me leave this office yes. under the threat of arrest. You need to leave because the office here has told you you must leave their work area. What law did if I break? If you fail to do it, you will be arrested for trespassing. Okay. And That's it all goes I need. for this office or any other office no, in there. No, you cannot trespass me from any office. Okay. You're a real special I kind know. of jerk, Thank ain't you? you? All right, huh? sir. Okay. You're a real special okay, kind sir. of stupid. All right. So you've been warned. You've been warned multiple times now. If you want to go, and I'm in warning office, you now. You I'm okay. warning you now. Okay. Well, you want. I'm going to sue your dumb ass okay. because you don't know the okay. law. Okay. You piece of okay. Shit prick. Okay. You. And pig you sucking th you think, think that hurts my feeling? It doesn't. Well, no, it shouldn't because it's true. I'm just the truth doesn't I told hurt, you does I don't it? Want to take the jail. truth doesn't hurt, does it? Okay. All right. 
You're a special kind of scumbag is okay. what you are. Right, You're supposed sir. to be defending me. Okay. You don't defend the people who well, work for us. You, don't listen. you defend me. I, I don't have to myself. listen. I didn't break the law. I, just try to I didn't break sir. the law. No. All right, well, you. tell him to shut up. He's Come ignorant. I will walk Please, you. Listen, I will tell walk him to you shut up and leave me alone. He is ignorant. Down. You just need to calm down. I didn't go anywhere and cause any kind of problem. Well, you're using no disorderly. Well, he's ignorant. I have the right to redress my grievances to the ignorant. Sure, you go ahead. Yeah, and I you do, and I will. Why don't you, you go that way and piss off? I'll tell you what. I want to let Trooper Hankin walk you. How's that? Yeah, I'll let Trooper Hankin walk me, and Absolutely. you go walk yourself okay, and jump sir. in the dumpster somewhere. Okay, all right. Did I tell you Wanda would get caught up in his feelings, or did I tell you Wanda would get caught up in his feelings? So Trooper Hankin does walk Wanda out because Wanda needed to be treated like a toddler. This whole ordeal actually ended up lasting over an hour because, remember, Wanda ain't got no job, and Wanda ain't got shit to do. Let's jump to the present day. So, the prosecutor brought these up. Uh, count one, criminal trespass. Count two, disorderly conduct. And the odd thing about that is, other than the threat of arrest uh, in the Ways and Means office, because they wanted me to leave, didn't like the fact that I was videoing, or maybe they didn't like the fact that I was in there, regardless of whatever that is, I had every lawful right to be in there. We want to see how they act, make sure they respect our rights, respect us as the public, respect us as their bosses. We pay them. <clears throat> we pay them? What, do you have a mouse in your pocket? Because you sure don't pay them. Uh, my attorney, uh, she's supposed to be looking at the footage over the weekend. I sent her all the videos relating to these charges. Oh, your attorney, you say? Well, here's a pro tip, Wanda. Don't show your court paperwork with case numbers on a live stream if you don't want people like me showing everyone you really don't pay for anything. It reads, Indigent counsel appointed at county expense. So if I were to go by your logic, Wanda, you now work for the county taxpayers who will be footing the bill for your defense. Now go get them all one piece of paper, please. And like I said, I thought the state building was over with, you know, pretty much in the rear view. I was going to go back at some point, back to the Ways and Means office, just because the way they acted to see if they had learned anything and then I find out that they submitted these charges or Beeman submitted these charges from the state building and uh and there's actually a a no contact order that was part of my court paperwork on Ben Tooley and his employees yeah that's right not only did he get arrested for a charade at the state house he now has a no contact order from the employees in the ways and means office then I had one of those frauditor channels, one of those frauditor channels, he posted my video. And of course, you know, that's just a bash fest there. But, uh, I mean, if that's what he wants to do, you know, that's what he believes, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's a cop, maybe he's a postal worker, maybe he works for the public, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I thought about going through there and telling him, you know, that's a, a copyright infringement. But then I thought, you know what, what's the point? I mean, who cares? So let his viewers watch my video and, uh, you know, whatever. They might come over to my channel and see what else I've got on there. Well, I'm not a cop, nor am I a public employee, Wanda. And I'm not surprised you considered striking my videos because most of you really don't believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouths. But before we go, Wanda, may I introduce you to someone? This is Donna, Annihilator of Accountability Angels, Jailer of Justice Jakes, Queen of LaSalle County, Illinois, Mother of Dragons, and the frontrunner for the upcoming presidential election. In a world full of Wandas, be a Donna. Donna 2024. Let's rock this mofo.